How do I become more self-confident? What does self-confidence actually mean? Really mean? Well, listen more in this video. So I would say, get comfortable and let's dive into this. Like, subscribe and share. Hi, my name is Lotfi Mrat and in today's video I'm going to talk about self-confidence. It's something that most of us have struggled with at some point and I believe most of us still do, even though it may be in a reduced matter. I myself was very insecure. I would hide in my fantasies, would hide into many different things, including addictions. Um, because of a lack of self-confidence, I got two burnouts, was close to a third one. Um, I got bullied at school, at work. And it's only when I started to look more inwards, when I started to work on myself, that I started to gain more self-confidence. Of course, it's easy that when you are in a certain situation where you have had a lot of practice, you go self-confident, but that's just related to where you have the experience. And as soon as something changes, as soon as something appears that is not within your comfort zone, boom, insecurity. And this is why you see that companies have so many rules. It's basically the insecurity that is causing them to build in all these defense mechanisms, to be prepared for everything. Well, the only way to be prepared for what life is going to throw at you is... Are you going to say self-confidence? No. Is what results into self-confidence, what brings you self-confidence. So the real thing is connecting with your true self, discovering who you truly are, discovering your greatness, your strength, your true power. And you may say, well, I prefer to just have a few tools. Well, there are plenty of tools like do this and that and that and that, and you'll be self-confident. Uh, act like this, say these things, stand like this, talk like that, do your hair like this, put a layer of makeup, whatever crap people do. That may give you the illusion of self-confidence, but as soon as your mascara is not perfect, <gasps> Like all these women who cannot get out of the door without a whole lay of plaster on their faces. Oh, sorry, they call it makeup. See the name? Make up. It's making up who they are. So it's not them being themselves. They're make up. Interesting, right? How... Everyone is using it, everyone is, is, is buying it, everyone is using the word, but then they don't even realize what they're saying. Being the saying, I'm faking it, I'm faking it, I'm faking it. Or if you want to be fake, fine. This is not the place for you to be. Fuck off. Stop watching this video. But if you want to be really yourself, if you want to feel comfortable, if you want to be at peace with yourself and with your life with the world around you, no matter what happens, even if there are challenges, then working on that connection with self, listening to your body, then that is what's going to help you. And this is one of the things I teach because I went through all the stages. Okay, I didn't use makeup the way people use it, but I did fake. I did put some talc powder here to, to hide or hide those things when I, yeah, hadn't slept much in a job interview. And actually, I passed the job interview, but made a good impression. I don't think it's because this was white instead of black. 
but maybe it helped a little bit. But I got hired because I was the right person for the job. And every time I faked it, it would bite me, it would bite me in the ass. It would come back to me. This is why at a certain point I decided not to fake it, not to lie anymore. And yes, not lying is really difficult because there are always these little lies that we have here and there. But as a core principle. And so the number of lies started to go down, and down, and down, and down, and down. Of course, this resulted in some people rejecting me. But then I would look like, yeah, do I really want to be around a person like that? Or have such kind of people around me anyway? No. And me changing meant that a lot of people from the old me went away. And new people came in my life with whom it was much easier to be myself. They would not judge me, they would not harass me, they would not bully me, they would not give me any shit. And yeah, sometimes my blunt honesty would be like, oh, and I would say, not fee. It is not very nice what you just said. I'm sorry, but it's what I feel. It's the truth. I would not hold a grudge. I would push a button maybe, but then it means to have a wound there. So go fix your wound. And that's part of the process. I had to fix my wounds. So if you really would like to get more self-confident, come work with me. Start watching my videos. Get inspired by what I share, what I have done, by what people in my podcast are sharing, what they have done. And please, try not to copy me or them. Get inspired. When I work with people, I always tell them, okay, this is how I do it. This is another method. And if possible, I give them a third method. Try them. and See what works for you. And fine-tune it to your specific needs, to who you really are. And we all change. Over time, we do change. Especially in these processes, we do change. So maybe you fine-tune it to who you are today. In a month from now, you fine-tune it again. I did that with how I meditate. I fine-tuned that several times. I found my unique way that really worked for me. And then later on, I adjusted to my needs, which had changed because of changes in my life. And part of this also is very narrowly connected to self-judgment. And I had to learn to judge myself less and from there to judge others less. And so when I work with my clients, generally people come to me because they don't feel judged. They start sharing with me the deepest secrets there most painful experiences because they really need to talk to somebody about it and they do it because they do not feel judged so suddenly they have more self-confidence and start talking about things I'm doing that too I've been sharing here on the channel things that I was not able to talk about to anyone and then later to one maybe two people but my self-confidence grew. And so now I talk about what I went through. The addiction I had, the, the traumatic events I had, the stupidities I, mean, I did. All of it. So, what's keeping you from clicking the link in the description and starting to do something.
like, subscribe, and share.